Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to do a follow-up of a couple videos ago when I had my 2CN trains running on my makeshift uh, oval layout and uh, they were acting very sporadic with my ECOS 2, like they weren't communicating. So what we have here is all three are by the same thing, um, by the same thing, by Atlas. This, and they're all, they all have um, decoders by NCE. So, so playing around a little bit, trying to figure out what was going on. Now, I don't know if it's, I guess they're not compatible, but NCE and the Railcon system on the ECOS, that's what was causing the argument between, uh, between these trains and the, and the, the ECOS. So what I, what I ended up doing was I disabled the Railcom and haven't had a issue with with the trains so kind of a bad kind of a sorry thing to see that i had to disable the rail comm system but um yeah so that had to do with uh, all three trains and all obviously all three of them have the nce um, decoders in them and um so i'm just going to show you guys how i disabled the the rail comm system okay i have uh, i have my ecos hooked up to my computer and so i just thought it would be better easier this way Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna disable the the Railcom. So as you can see, I have my SD60 over here, my uh, GP40, which are both from the Atlas with the NCE decoder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here with uh, the ECOS with the red screen and the um, the wrench. I'm gonna click there. Once we're in there, you're gonna have uh, up at setup one. You're gonna have a whole bunch of uh, things here on the side. Hit the track area. Over here, you're gonna see right in this area here, and it's gonna say enable Railcom feedback. Untick it, hit the check mark to accept, and you're done. Now she is disabled, and the trains will act normally. So, yeah, so ever since I've done that, um, the these three trains have been good and they've been cooperating okay so let's put a train on the track and see how she goes so give me a second all right so we have the sd60 here up on the oval test track and we're gonna test out see how smooth she runs in regards to the railcom and see if there's any arguments in between the two systems uh, what i'm going to be using is my cell phone i'm going to operate that with the touch cab and then I am going to use my computer to operate um, the switches. So, alrighty, so let's go pick up some cars. I'm just going to go out of frame here for a second. Until next time, keep on modeling. 